Yo, what is up guys? Today we're going to be talking about an interesting topic uh, and that is convincing your friends to ride a motorcycle. As you can see here, I am currently on a Ninja 400, but it is not my own. It is my mate's Ninja 400 that he just bought uh, and I'm riding back home for him because he doesn't have his license yet. Yep, I convinced him to go get his learners and the motorbike. And it really got me thinking about the topic as a whole. There are two ways that you can get motorcycle friends. A, you get a motorbike and you go find other people that ride motorcycles and become friends with them. Or B, you convince your pre-existing friends to go get their motorbikes and their licenses. The latter option is significantly harder than the former, but arguably more rewarding because you already have a decent connection with these people. Oh man, what a beautiful ride. The sky is beautiful. The temperature is perfect. Look at that sunset. Jitten chose the right day to become the owner of a Ninja 400. Convincing your pre-existing mates to riding with you is what we're gonna talk about today. Uh, I love to share all of my hobbies with my friends and my, my loved ones. The thing is, riding a motorcycle is a bit different to going to the gym or going to a dance class. There are very strong barriers of entry. First and foremost, safety. That's a huge one. Like, here in the West, riding a motorcycle is considered quite dangerous um, and many people avoid it for that reason. Secondly, it's expensive. To get your license here in Victoria, it costs around $1,000 all up. That's not something you just say, hey, let's go do this on a random Tuesday Arvo uh, and your friends hop on board. Given the risk and the cost, uh, this is something that requires much deliberation um, and an actual interest in riding a motorbike. For that reason, I do my very best uh, not to convince or to bore people who express no signs of uh, wanting to ride a motorbike. But when you come across mates like Jitten or a couple of my other mates, if you're watching this, you know who you are. I will slowly push and prod <laughs> and wear you down. Um, if, I, if I strongly feel that it's not something you'd regret. And that's the case here. I met Jitten and naturally, you know, we talk about what we do, what we like, motorcycles come up and the guy did not shut it down. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's cool. And, you know, he'd ask a few questions here and there, express some curiosity. And that, that was enough, man. And here we are many, many months later uh, I am riding this guy's motorcycle back home for him and he has his learner's test booked in for the end of the month. And I am enthralled because I feel like, you know, just straight up, the more people that ride, the better. But I get to share this with uh, someone I know. And uh, that's a really cool, fulfilling part of life. I actually feel a pang of sadness for Jitten because all he can do is watch his new to him bike being ridden home by someone else. I know I'd be jealous. But this is the right way to do it. And uh, you can head over to my other video to find, find out why. The thing I fear most about convincing a mate to go get their motorbike license and start riding is if they come off or something terrible happens to them, uh, I know I would feel horrible. Um, it would be hard not to take on some of the guilt if you're the one who's responsible for getting them on a bike in the first place. I think about this a lot. Uh, and I'm quite conscious of it when I'm talking to other people about motorcycles and uh, if they may be a potential target of mine. <laughs> um, but pretty much, I think what I'm getting at is, even though at the end of the day, someone's decision to get a motorbike and their license and start riding is very much their own, they are accountable for that decision because they are an adult, but I would still feel guilty uh, if something happened and I had applied a lot of pressure as a result of my own uncontainable passion and enthusiasm for this hobby. So I'd like to think I went about this in the right way. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jitten. Let me know in the comments. And that's why I found this to be a fascinating topic because there is just so much more at risk than just getting into cycling or whatever it is that your hobbies may be. Holy crap. This exhaust is loud. Uh, mine is just an eBay rep, but it is a bit bigger. Uh, so even though that also has the baffle out, it's not as obnoxious as this thing. Holy shit. 
you notice it a lot more at this speed when there's less wind noise. Wow, that's definitely gonna annoy a few neighbors. Oh my God, we just went under a tunnel and I nearly blew my eardrums out. <laughs> Shit, this thing's loud. <laughs> it's comical. If uh, all it takes is your mate to convince you to... Oh shit, I'm out of battery? Oh, fuck. Riding a motorcycle is a dangerous hobby. So if I have played any part in convincing my mates to hop on a motorcycle and get their license, I ease off and ensure that the decision is still completely their own and that it is something that they really want for themselves. And that's how I navigate the moral quandary of convincing my mates to ride motorcycles. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already, I will catch you on the next one. Never seen you bang. You say you've got them drugs, but I've never seen you slang.